You ever have those days when you're on the driving range and you just cannot make solid contact? driving you crazy and you came out here to have a good day well we're gonna fix that because when you go to the golf course you should have some fun and you want to hit the golf ball solid I'm PGA teaching professional Todd Cope, director of instruction for US Golf TV and I'm here at the driving range today and I came out here with all good intentions to hit a lot of solid shots and have fun and I'm not doing that so what could be causing that well a couple things first of all I'm gonna give you a great drill at the end to kind of tie this together but before I do that we got to talk about what could be causing it. Now, the first thing you gotta understand is we're really blessed here. At the place where we get to practice and shoot our content at and things like that, we've got great turf, okay? I know a lot of you out there, maybe you could put it in a comment, don't have that luxury, all right? You might be at a driving range where there's literally no grass, it's just sand, okay? Or you're hitting off mats. So the first thing you gotta understand is when you're hitting off mats, the ball is going to react and things are going to be a little different than when you're just hitting off like plain dirt or sand. If you have a driving range that is really sandy and doesn't have any grass, it's going to be tough to hit solid golf shots. So bear that in mind. Keep that in mind as you go through the process. Be aware of the turf and understand that sandy can make it more difficult to have solid contact. So that's the first thing in terms of the environment. Now, what could be causing us to hit behind the golf ball or not make solid contact? Well, here's the tip and here's why you tuned in today. It has to do with where the weight is at on your feet. Okay, let me say that again. It has to do with where the weight is at on your feet. So the weight, okay, will dictate largely where the bottom of the swing is. Let me give you an example. So we've all seen this guy, maybe your gal, and this might be you, okay? When you're set in here, like, hey, they look pretty good, but when they finish their swing, where's their weight? It's on their back foot, right? Okay, and where did the club hit the ground? back behind the golf ball all right so that's the concept you've got to understand and I want you to learn today is that where the weight is at on your feet largely dictates where the club will hit the ground now let me hit a good shot and then we're going to talk about some causes in a drill all right so this time watch my weight I'm going to really try to get my weight going forward into my lead foot here we go I'm set up notice where my weight's at forward see that where did I hit the ground? More forward. So that simple concept, understanding where your weight is at, largely dictates where the club hits the ground, can improve your contact immediately. So there's the first thing you're gonna learn today that you've already learned that's hopefully helping you out. Now, hey, leave a comment. Tell me where you're from, questions you've got, content. I got my main man, Nick, behind the camera here. This guy's been with us for a long time. Nick, give us a thumbs up there, buddy. There he is, yeah, there he is, all right. He's there. And we love hearing from you, and we love to help you play better golf. So do that by leaving a comment, telling us what you want us to talk about and where you're from. Now, that's what could be causing you to have bad contact, all right? But how can we actually work on that? Well, let me give you a little practice drill. So here's what you're gonna do. And you might have seen this before, and you know me, I love three setters, right? Okay, so what you're gonna do is take your regular setup, you're gonna bring your lead foot back to your trail foot, and then you're just gonna step forward. Boom, bring it back. There's two, notice where the club's hitting the ground. Boom, it's four, all right? Now I got that feel of my weight going forward. So here we go, I'm set up. I'm gonna get that weight going forward. Oh yeah, best one of the day so far right there. Notice where my weight's at, went forward. Actually, at impact, you want to feel probably 70, 80% of your weight on your lead foot, especially when you're hitting your irons. That will help you compress the ball and get that contact that you're looking for. Now, all right, you might be thinking to yourself, okay, Todd, makes sense. I get that. I understand what you're saying there, that if my weight's on my back foot, I'll tend to hit the ground behind the ball. If I get my weight forward, the bottom of the swing will go forward, I'll improve my contact. But you're thinking to yourself, well, if I go out on the golf course and I make three practice swings every shot I hit, the guys or gals in my group are gonna go crazy. So here's a simple thing that you can do. Simple thing you can do, and that is this. When you finish your swing, I just want your knees to touch. It's literally that simple. Watch, here we go. Set up. I'm gonna get my knees to touch on the finish. I love that nice high draw. Where's my knees? Touching. When your knees touch, 
your waist got to forward. There's no reason to go to the golf course and be frustrated with contact and ruin the day. These little tips right here, these suggestions are going to help you improve your contact and more importantly, enjoy your day at the golf course.